I've had something on my mind for a while. Before I say anything, I do want to go on a tangent in this video, but before I do, I do want to point out that when I mention a group of individuals, I'm not thinking of anyone in particular. There are some people who frequently watch my live videos that may think I'm pinpointing them. If you do, don't. Don't worry. I'm not. I don't have anybody specific in mind when I say what I'm going to say in this video. But this is something I just want to vent about, so forewarn. If you don't want to hear me vent, feel free to leave the video now. If you don't mind, uh, then be prepared because that's going to be the basis of this video. In any case, Let's go ahead and get started. If you're still here, you're warned. Advice. Something I've been trying to give to many individuals at this point, to the degree where I can't even give you guys a number for how many people I've tried this for. And every time, well, it feels like the advice has just been shunned or turned down and to me that's painful that it hurts now for the most part when I give this advice it's natural instinct it's not asked of me it's more just like I see a circumstance and I go hey maybe it's a good idea to blank I say blank because there are so many different circumstances that, once again, I'm not going to list it out. But I say these, every time I give advice, it's out of the goodness of my heart. It doesn't mean the advice is always right. In fact, I can guarantee 50% of the time it probably isn't. It's probably wrong 50% of the time. But that doesn't mean it should just be 100% ignored. When it is, it just hurts. When it's ignored, I just don't know how to feel about it. Now, when I do give advice, I try to be very particular and careful on how I go about it. Now, Sometimes when I give it the advice, it is advice that even I should take for myself. I am willing to admit that. Some of the advice I have given is advice that I need to take. Yeah, I'm willing to admit this. I'm not that... I, 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 I can be dull-minded sometimes to not notice it. But at the same time... I'm not perfect. It has been pointed out to me before that there are some uh, basis qualities that I do miss that I should contain. However, the things that I do know, that I do, I, I am pretty good at con keeping just so happen to be the things that people have a tendency to ignore. I'm not perfect. As I've already said, I do miss certain things, but I don't appreciate it with the things that I don't miss. People subside. And, I mean, it just doesn't make sense to me. Why, why would someone do that? There are several individuals in my life that I've met who I will try to say, hey, are you okay? They'll vent, and I'll be like, well, maybe next time blank. And the person repeats the same process over again. Now, I'd be a hypocrite if I didn't, if I were to say that this, I have never been this. I'd be a liar to say I've never been that way. I have. My dad, who actually is subbed to the channel, can actually you know, testify to this. He has seen this from me time and time again. But it's a learning experience. 
that's where the advice comes from. The experiences that I've already had. Anytime I give advice, that's where it's cored off of. And yet, it's ignored. The advice is ignored. That's when it starts hurting. The advice comes from a piece of my heart. The advice I give has always come, came from my heart. It's my heart talking. Unlike most guys, especially the dang stereotypes, I'm sensitive. I'm more of a feminine man than a masculine one. And to just downright ignore the things that I say, that's why it hurts. It's because of how feminine I actually am. I'm an extremely sensitive guy. This isn't a common thing, but it is useful. As a future parent, it would help me give advice to kids, my kids that I will inevitably have. I would be able to tell them, look, I went down this path so I know that if this choice was to be made, it would not lead to something good. Also, ignore the clicking on the side. There's like a... I don't know if you guys can hear the clicking or not, but if you ever hear that, please just ignore it. It's my apartment shaking slightly because of a train bypassing it. But anyway, I digress. The circumstances are just sad. I'm a sensitive person. So when someone says I'm doing something wrong and they're right about it, it would hurt. But inevitably I'll admit it. One thing that I was criticized of at a point, technically it wasn't right, but it wasn't too far from the truth. I was criticized, the criticism was I never say thank you for anything. Which anybody who watches my videos all the way through from beginning to end knows this is not true. It's a consistency, but for the most part it is genuine. However, disclude that, they're still wrong, but not too far off. I'm, in reality, I'm not the kind of person to say thank you all the time. Most of the time, if I say thank you, I say thanks. And you do hear me say that a lot, but maybe some people don't consider that as thank you. If you don't, then I rarely ever say thank you. I will if it mean, it's something that means a lot to me. But as someone, as someone who is at least willing to admit things, that is something I would need to work on. One of the pieces of advice I give is proper decency. I gave that to someone once from heart and experience, and it is advice that I need to take as well. However, it doesn't make me a hypocrite. But at least for the one who gives the advice, at least give the common courtesy to, if you're going to ask for the advice, act on it. Five years ago, I came across an individual who asked for this, and it was about five years ago at least. Immediate regret on my end because the person just disregarded the advice that I gave like that. And let's just say they are in a really rotten place at this point. I'm not going to say who. I do remember the name of the person, and I'm not surprised they disregarded the advice, so it didn't hurt me too much, but it did hurt to the fact that I was already in a rough place at the moment. Anyway, these are my thoughts on this. For those who stuck around for the tangent, again, thank you. Um, if for some reason all y'all skipped to the end of this and found this portion somehow, good job, question mark. 
Well, once again, for those who actually stuck around for the entire tangent or the entire rant, thanks. I I genuinely do appreciate that kind of thing. Whenever somebody, whenever you guys do that, I really do appreciate it. But either way around, if you guys like these kind of videos where I'm kind of open about myself and about how I feel about things, or you like the times when I discuss or rant about certain things, I guess this video kind of falls under both categories. Click, some, click the links on the side of my head for these different types of categories. About me, or discussion or rant. Want to check out the channel for any of the live stuff that I've done? Click the link that's like right here or down below. If you already are subbed and you want to support the channel more, consider clicking the other link down there. Uh, anyway, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for sticking around for this video, guys. And I hope to see you all in another one. Bye for now.